Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Here we discuss everything, how to go paperless, how to take paperless notes and everything. And today it's a very interesting topic because I will talk about good notes and the three top reasons why I think good notes is better than notability and note shelf. However, in another video I will show you my three top reasons why I don't think good notes is better than note shelf and notability and what those apps do better. So just make sure to check this video out as well to get a complete picture. So the first thing I think that GoodNotes just makes better than other note-taking apps like NoteShelf and Notability is the presentation mode. I showed you another video where I explained in detail how to use the iPad to present your notes via a second screen, a monitor or a projector. And I think GoodNotes does the best job because we have in addition because as soon you connect good notes to an external monitor, it will show you the note only. But in addition, you also have a laser pointer that you can use to point at certain things or even to mark things that will just disappear after you highlighted it. And I think that's the first thing that makes good notes better if you need to present your notes. The second reason is auto backup. Auto backup was already available in GoodNotes 4 and to me it was a very important feature and it was missing in GoodNotes 5 and I'm so happy that it's back now. Because with auto backup, let me just go in there, you go to settings and now we have the auto backup functionality in here and as soon you switch on the auto backup you can choose the cloud storage. You can choose Dropbox, Google Drive or OneDrive. So I use Google Drive, I sign in with my Google uh, account. And as soon as I'm signed in, I can choose a destination folder. So you can write whatever you want. I leave it as good notes. And then you can choose the file format. And that's really great because it will save the native file format of good notes of your notebooks. And it will save a PDF as well. And this is really powerful. It's even if you just use PDF, it's really great, especially if you're working on a Windows desktop as well because this way your notes will become available on the Windows desktop as well or on Android or wherever you will be able to enter your Google Drive and that's really great. And now we are really one step, just a one step away from having a collaboration tool here with GoodNotes. And GoodNotes developers, if you're watching this video right now, so I think it is really close to collaboration because I'm able to share this folder now with a different person who has also a Google account and a G drive and it would be a shared folder. So in my understanding, this would be the best way to start collaborating. However, I tested it, it's not working. So you can't do this. And I really hope that this functionality will come in, any, in some way. This wouldn't be in real time, the collaboration. However, you can make it async. So, you know, somebody's writing in there as soon closed somebody else can write in there. That should be already possible. So good notes developers, think about this. Especially because I can add an excluded folder files name here. This would allow me to not share everything in there. And I'm not sure if it would work if I would be able to actually choose the folder here. Never mind. It is awesome that auto backup functionality is back and it just puts good notes apart from NodeShelf and Notability because they don't have this feature yet. I reached out to NodeShelf and they are actually working on this. There's no estimated release time, so we will have to wait. Thumbs up for good notes here. And a third function I really like in good notes and that takes it apart from any other note taking app that I know is the option to choose between scrolling sideways or scrolling horizontally. Just click on the three dots up here scrolling direction and then you can switch to horizontally and now I can scroll horizontally like you are used to in Notability. So there is no, no reason to choose any other app just by the scrolling functionality. You can do both in GoodNotes. And these are my top three reasons. I'm sure there's a lot more that you prefer using GoodNotes. So let us know in the comments below and if there are things that you actually like in NoteShare for Notability be better than in Good Notes, let us know in the comments below as well and watch my other video where I point out these three features that I think other note taking apps do better right now than Good Notes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, 
share it with your friends, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll catch you up next time or in the paperless movement inner circle which is an awesome membership where people who are committed to go paperless and being productive with their devices join together in forums and I have online courses in there, we have premium blog posts, all this good stuff to go paperless in the most productive way you can.